Being in the military takes lots of courage and dedication, because it not only means fighting for the safety of the country, but also spending time away from the family and the loved ones. However, this kind of life is as difficult for military dogs as for humans. After serving in the army, many dogs have difficulties adjusting to their old way of living. They faced gunfire, sniffed out bombs, stumbled across bodies, and maybe even endured torture. They haven't had a soft comfy bed in which to lounge, special treat to munch on, and a cuddle by the fireplace with a human in a very long time. At some point during their tenure with the military, service dogs often exhibit signs that they can no longer perform their duties. Then they are dismissed. But what happens to them afterward? The fortunate ones end up in Commerce, Texas, in the care of 40-year-old Mike Redland. The former Navy SEAL served 12 years in that capacity and now runs the Warrior Dog Foundation, where he strenuously strives to bring these poor pooches back from the shell of a dog they've become. For six years, Mike has been coaxing dogs out of their ghost-like personas when they arrive. His goal is to reprogram them so they can enjoy a peaceful retirement in dignity and grace the way they deserve for their service to their country. Every one of these dogs would be in a box full of ashes on somebody's desk if we weren't taking them. So we are the last ditch resort for these dogs. These dogs are specially trained beginning as puppies to apprehend enemy soldiers and sniff out explosives. They are completely indispensable overseas. But because their sniffing abilities are so keen, Service dogs are huge targets for the enemy. For that very reason, they must wear bulletproof vests and have security cameras attached to themselves. It's impossible to quantify the number of lives that those dogs have saved. It's in the thousands or even tens of thousands. The man's best friend Adage is understated. We definitely got a good deal out of that. So far, Mike has helped save 50 dogs that people have brought to him. Almost all of them have been rehabilitated and placed with new owners alongside the dogs he trains as part of his business. These dogs ask nothing of us and provide so much for our troops, for our police officers, for our communities, for our nation. For us to give these dogs what they deserve is both an honor and a pleasure. It's important that these dogs are never forgotten. They are given treats, they are taught to play with a ball and fetch they finally are given a chance to be a normal dog and live out the rest of their lives with a forever family. They are no longer soldiers, but simply a dog with an incredible history. What do you think? Scroll down to the comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.